Hello, hello, my lovely friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I would like to make a video talking about digital files, why I love, 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 love digital files, and why I think that digital files could be a lot of fun for you if it's something that you haven't really investigated or you want to investigate or a little bit nervous about or intimidated by or any of those things. So I made a video yesterday showing you um, some of my, my files, how I organize my files. I went through this whole thing where I showed you some different things that were available on Etsy. I bought some files. <laughs> Like I did the whole thing. And then it occurred to me as I was thinking about editing, I I'm redoing them. Long story short, I'm going to redo the videos for you this afternoon. Because it occurred to me that I was going at the videos from a perspective of somebody who kind of already knows what this is all about. And um, I just sort of felt that it might be more helpful for you if we kind of really just start at real basics, because if you're watching a video about whether or not you might want to use digitals, chances are all of this is really new to you and it just, it just didn't feel right. So I want to start fresh and talk about digitals on a really basic level. And I want to talk about why digitals are super easy why digitals are fun and just what how digitals can open up a whole other world for paper crafting journaling pen palling um snail mail happy mail i mean part of the reason why i am such a huge fan of digitals and i <laughs> i buy a lot of digitals just between you and me <laughs> i probably buy more than I should. But in my defense, uh, here where I live, I live two hours west of Toronto in Canada. And I know this will come a shock as a shock to some of my American friends, but we don't have a Joann's and we don't have a Hobby Lobby. And it is absolutely tragic. Trust me. And so we're just stuck with Michaels, which, eh, you know, our Michaels isn't as great as your Michaels in the United States. And I know that for my friends that are watching in different parts of the world, um, there isn't the same access to certain crafting papers and products and ephemera in other places that there is in the United States. So um, part of the reason... I turned to digitals was because I was looking for a greater variety and because the paper the, the the scrapbook paper in particular at Michael's it's not that it's terrible quality although it can be it's just that it's the selection is just really limited it's very poor and the other thing is if you're somebody who isn't necessarily interested in crafting and following trends so with what colors are popular or what prints are popular digitals open up a world where you can get anything and I mean anything so for example if you go to your craft store and everything that's in there is neon because neon is what's popular and you don't want to use neon then digitals are a great, great alternative because then you can just pick whatever colors, prints. I mean, I can't overstate how big of a selection there is, even on Etsy alone. And Etsy's just one place to buy digitals. I personally think Etsy's one of the best places because the selection is just insanely insane <laughs> like there's so much to choose from and it's inexpensive so this would bring me to my next point not only are you afforded a wide range of things and we'll talk about um, what else you can get and it's not just paper um, but it is extremely affordable 
because so much of it, like I would say the majority of what I purchase online is, is under $5 and that's Canadian, <laughs> right? So, you know, $5 Canadian these days is about, I think about 350 American and I don't know what it would be to the Euro, but $5 Canadian would still be about five, under five Australian dollars as well. Excuse me. So that alone is another amazing reason why I think digitals should be on your radar because they're affordable. And one of the things that I love the most about digitals is that when I purchase a digital, I'm essentially supporting a small artist, a small business, like somebody who is actually uses the money to reinvest it back into their business, right? So if you're somebody that really wants to support small business or maybe you don't want to, this just, just sort of popped up on the top of my head here, but let's say you want to support one of your favorite YouTubers and you can't, you don't want to send, you know, uh, sign up for a Patreon account or to support them monthly, you can go into Etsy and buy a digital file. And that is a direct way of supporting some of your favorite YouTubers as well who have digital kits or digital files or digital paper or any kind of digital art. So, um, for example, I will show you what's in my Etsy store as far as digital files go. And part of the reason that I do, uh, will be doing YouTube channels is to bring attention, obviously, to the fact that I have an Etsy store and I have things in there that, um, both physical products and digital products. But I find that I really like the idea that I can go into YouTube and find an amazing creator, whether it's a junk journaler or whatever it is, see her use her files, and then I can also go in and use those same files, and I can support her, and it doesn't cost me an exorbitant amount of, amount of money, rented lips, to be supportive. So that's another great reason. The other great reason to use digitals is you don't have to have anything fancy. So as long as you have a printer that prints and copy paper, that's all you need. You can, of course, experiment with different kinds of papers. And there are, oh my God, there's so many things you could experiment with and try. But to get us started, all you need is a reliable printer that can print just regular everyday copy paper that you buy at Walmart, Staples, Amazon, whatever. You don't have to have anything fancy. Um, I know that there's people out there that talk about different kinds of printers. Um, I'm going to link some resources below. I've been gathering some, some uh, videos for you guys to sort of put um, all together so that if you decide you want to continue and go down this rabbit hole, because <laughs> it does feel like that sometimes. Oh, it can be dangerous. Um, but some, some, of the, some of the other women on YouTube talk about different kinds of printers, different kinds of paper, different kinds of ink. But in the interest of just keeping it really simple, let's just say all you need is the printer that you have on hand, the copy paper that you have on hand. Sometimes, depending on what it is that you're printing, it might be wise uh, to print things on cardstock. So when I print out things for pockets, that I want to use in my junk journal, I use cardstock. So I made sure that when I got my last Canon printer, that my printers came with high reviews for using cardstock. Um, I also like to buy full sheets of sticker paper, and I will run those through the printer, which is easy peasy. And then I just kind of make my own sort of stickers, even though they're not waterproof or anything like that but it's still fun to use stickers in my journal uh, in the journals that I make and sell on Etsy um, so those would be the, the top three kinds of paper I would think that would be really helpful for you to have on hand regular copy paper cardstock 
um, somewhere around an 80 pound I think is the last thing I purchased I will have a look on Amazon and put it up here for you what did I say cardstock paper sticker paper now you could go out to Staples and buy some lovely linen paper um, sometimes that can be really fun depending on what you're printing out if you have paper that has a little bit of a texture to it it can look really luxurious and rich um, I find with some of the wallpaper uh, digital wallpaper prints wallpaper prints wallpaper samples wallpaper I don't know um, some of that can look amazing on textured paper but in the interest of just keeping it really simple so that you don't have to go out and buy anything um, just use what you've got now, a word about um, ink versus... So there's a lot of people out there, and I was guilty of this for a long time. I was not wanting to buy and, and really get into printing out rich, deep, colorful papers um, because I thought, oh, the ink, the ink. Well, ink it can be expensive, yes, I agree. And oftentimes... I don't know. It's crazy how sometimes it, it can cost you more in ink <laughs> than to buy a new printer. But this is my philosophy. Because I live somewhere where I find that the selection is poor and Michael's in particular doesn't carry the kind of things that I want to purchase, I find it's a very... Uh, it's a good trade-off for me. So I will buy a digital file for let's say five dollars I don't mind spending the money on the ink because I think it you know you sort of weigh the pros and cons if you're going to go to to Michael's or to Joann's or wherever and you buy a ton of paper then maybe you don't need to print off paper but for me I really I have to say I'm much happier with just coming to terms with I'm just going to buy ink more often than I'm going to go to Michael's and buy paper. Um, so there's that part of it as well. And there is a lot of people out there that say that they don't want to spend the money on, on the ink, et cetera, et cetera. Again, this is totally up to you. I'm not trying to convince you of anything other than I think that digitals and printables really open up a whole other world of possibilities. So Let's see. Now, oh, uh, let's see. The other thing I wanted to talk about quickly was different kinds of files. So when we look at the computer, you're going to hear me talk about different sorts of files that you will be downloading onto your computer. So in order to get us started, there would be three kind of files that you will need to look for. The first one is called a JPEG file, and it's... I'll, I'll do a thing here <laughs> with the magic of my editor. Um, and it is the simplest, in my opinion, the simplest file to download and then open because all you have to do is click on it, save it somewhere on your desktop and or your iPad or your phone. We'll get back to that in a minute. Um, and then it's just there. It's a, it's a file that will show you the entire image that you've purchased. So if you, if you buy, let's say, a set of papers, like for me, I'll show you in my shop. I sell digital writing paper, and in each pack of the writing paper, you get four sheets of paper. Instead of me trying to put four sheets into one a larger file that you have to open and pull files out of. I've made it so that you just click on each file and then you have four separate files to save on your computer so that when you go into the folder where you've saved them you see exactly what I've what you've purchased and what you have to print. That's it. There is there's there there isn't anything else that you have to open and you'll hear people talking about extracting files and sharing files between folders. So if you look for printables on Etsy, let's stick with Etsy, and digital files that you don't want to have to worry about opening up 
in more than one step, you want to look for a JPEG. And I will show you that on the computer. So that would be my first tip to get you started. Don't purchase anything until you feel comfortable that comes in a zip file or uh, what they call a PDF file. Um, but we will look at those files. Um, I'll probably do a part two because I've already been rambling on for 15 minutes and I, I don't want this to be a whole thing um, all at once because it's kind of, it can be a lot of information to take in. So we'll talk about the different kinds of files and the easiest way to get you started so that you just get used to downloading. I mean, we've all downloaded stuff by this point, right? We all know how to download things on our computer. We download them from our emails. We download them from everywhere, right? Like it's, it's almost a sixth sense now. It's just like you see something, you click on it, you download it. But you know, there's something to be said for a learning curve when you don't know what you don't know. So if you have held back from purchasing digital files from Etsy because you don't know what to do with the files once you get them, you just don't know that. So I'm going to show you what we do with that. So you download them directly from where you purchase on Etsy or Etsy will send you an email as well. And then you could open that up and we'll go through that. I mean, I think I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say that there's, there's a, this is a generational thing, but as somebody who is, let's say <laughs> over 30, but under 60, so I would be Gen X, um, you know, sometimes I feel like there's a tiny bit of a generation gap with some of these things. So if you are of a certain age and you're feeling a little bit like, I don't know, silly or intimidated, please don't because like I said, you don't know what you don't know. Most of us are quite familiar with these things. But again, part of the reason why I wanted to make this video was because I was so surprised at how many women I've come across in the last couple of years who don't use digitals who have confided in me that they don't use digitals and printables because they're a little bit intimidated. And that just broke my heart because I was like, no, 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 that's, that's, you're missing out. I, I think you're missing out. So that's why it was important for me to come back and redo the videos that I did yesterday because I was like, and I was watching other YouTubers make videos about doing digitals and they really do come from a place of just sort of assuming that you know what they know. And I think if you're looking for beginner instruction about using digitals, you don't know, right? <laughs> like it's just that simple. And so I'm, I'm making this video in hopes that I can reach a few people who have been putting off doing this because they feel like it's out of their wheelhouse and it doesn't have to be. Having said that, if you are feeling intimidated or you do run into a problem where you, you f you're like, I don't know what is going on here. What is the name of this file? <laughs> you must know somebody under 30. So ask them because they probably know. Okay. So, um, let's see what else. I wanted to talk about there is a difference between purchasing digital files on Etsy using a desktop or some sort of tablet, iPad, or phone. And I'm going to link um, a video from a, a gal on YouTube. Uh, her name is Jackie, and she has a great video called Plan a Healthy Life. And she does a lot of digital printed home planners and those sorts of things. Her, her shtick isn't junk journaling, um, but it's about printing out planners, right? So she does this great, very easy to follow, very easy to understand video about when you purchase um, not on a desktop. I'm gonna sh do everything that I'm showing you today on a desktop because as a dinosaur, I cannot live without my desktop. Like I just, I just, I'm way more comfortable with my mouse and my keyboard than I am on my tablet. I'm just, 
old-fashioned that way but the big difference is when you are making a purchase of a digital of any kind of digital file on Etsy um, there's a big difference between using Etsy on a desktop and Etsy on a, a device right so her main point in the video just so you know is that when you're going to purchase a digital file on Etsy you need to go into a search engine so you need to use Chrome Firefox um, Safari one of those and you open up at Etsy I was gonna say Apsy <laughs> sorry open up Etsy in an actual browser and then do your purchasing and downloading from there if you buy digital files on a tablet or on a phone through the app you can do that but you can't open up the files and download them onto your device through the app i have no idea why it is one of the many 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 mysteries of etsy but if you do it through the browser so if you do it through safari or chrome or firefox you can easily download them and then use them and print them from your device or you can open them up through your email when Etsy emails you um, the information about your digital. So just a heads up because I've had people in the past buy digital files from me and then leave me negative reviews because they couldn't open the files through the actual Etsy app. It's, oh my God. that's a conversation for another day so I hope that clears some things up as well okay so we talked about paper printers <sighs> we talked about a lot so this video is going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos so let's just very quickly cover before I I set up I'm going to set up my iPad beside the desktop here and uh, we'll go through and I'll show you a bunch of examples. You know, this, this, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. I, when I was doing the video for you yesterday and we did a search, I'll do it again today. I just did a search for digital paper and there's over 2 million, 2 million uh, listings. Like it's insane. And that's just paper. So here's the thing. You can, you don't have to buy digital paper. If you're somebody who really likes to use 12 by 12, then it's gonna be an issue because you can't paint, you can't print 12 by 12, obviously. It would be eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10, whatever you got in your printer. If you're somebody who likes double-sided paper, you can do double-sided printer or paper in your printer if you want. Um, but there is a whole world of printable envelopes, printable tags, printable, um, well, like I do, writing paper and journal tags. There is, you can buy entire journal kits that you could print out at home. I'll show you some from some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, you can buy anything, like it's crazy. And it can be a little bit overwhelming until you, you sort of start to filter it down to the things that you like to use. So if you want to look at orange and, and pink floral vintage digital paper, then narrow it down, like really niche it down to the things that you really like. So maybe have a little bit of an idea in your head what you might, might be looking for. Um, if you want polka dotted paper, but you want muted polka dot paper, then don't just don't go in and search digital paper because you'll be like, oh, <laughs> oh my God, right? Oh, here comes Sophie to say hello. Oh, <laughs> cats and their bums. Hi, darling. Yeah, we're making a video. Do you want to say hi? Okay, yeah. Yeah, do you want to say hello? Um, so you can do digital bookmarks like if you wanted to print out bookmarks for your pen pals you can do digital postcards that you could print out digital greeting cards digital i mean okay hang on there we go 
Um, whatever you want, whatever you want. You can buy digital lined paper to print out at home. You can, you could buy digital bullet dot paper. There's vintage papers. There's modern papers. There's, I'm telling you, it's insane. The other thing that's really, really fun too, is that when you, most paper will come in a paper pack, right? So most paper packs usually include six to 12. So when you buy a paper pack, you're not just buying one piece of paper to print off. They've usually put it in a whole thing for you. So whether it's a theme, color, I mean, it's amazing. So um, you could buy blank postcards, like the, like the a postcard, well, this is not, this is for Halloween, but you can buy the old fashioned postcard blanks. You could print those off and then collage um, on them to make postcards for your pen pals if you were so inclined. Something like that, right? You can buy blanks like we did in the last, um, the other video, the when I bought the Artie Mays blank tags and I used all the rubber stamps, I'll show you that entire file. Um, because that file came not just with those blank tags, but she had other tickets in it. She had a whole thing in it. So you can buy blanks that you can create your own artwork on if you wanted to, your own, if you wanted to do like a master board, but you only wanted to do a master board using rubber stamps, there's printables out there for you. Like, <laughs> I feel like a bit of a drug pusher, but I really, I, I hope this will inspire you to, to look around and see what's out there. You can buy fussy cuts. I mean, you obviously have to fussy cut them out, but you can buy print at home digital files that you download and then you print and then you print out your own fussy cuts. You could print out on sticker paper to create your own stickers to use in your journal, um, again, or for pen pals and happy mail. Um, the only thing is if you're going to experiment, um, you print off some paper and you would like to use um, like alcohol sprays, different kinds of paints, gessos, those sorts of things. You just need to be aware that sometimes, not always, depending on what you're using, but sometimes because the paper that you're printing is usually going to be printed out of an inkjet, it's water-based, things might smudge a little. So, but I'm getting kind of a little bit of ahead of myself, but I just wanted you to be aware of that. Um, some of the inks that you might use if you were creating, if you were inking over things that you were printing, eh, you might want to do a tester. But that's sort of another topic for another day. So, whew, I think I think that's it. I think that's all that I really wanted to cover. Um, so we're gonna go in front of the computer. We'll talk about how to in this video. We'll talk about different file kinds. We'll, we'll take a look at some examples of what's out there. And then I think what I'll do is I'll do another video after I've purchased a couple things, then I'll show you how I download them onto my desktop, how I open them and how I print them. And as well as I will also leave all of the other videos from all the other lovely ladies here on YouTube who can show you um, different ways of approaching those problems as well. Whew, okay, I think that's got it. So I'm really excited. I'm excited for you to see what's out there if you haven't. And I'm excited to hopefully encourage you to explore this world of absolute infinite possibilities. One other thing I would like to say about digitals. You're like Lisa. <laughs> Just let me say this. One of the beauties and one of the reasons why, apart from not having access to a ton of selection based on the fact that the Canadian Michaels is just poops, um, is ease of use. So I tend to be a bit of a night owl and it's not unusual for me to be working at my junk journal at one or one thirty in the morning. Um, and so I love the fact that I can go on, buy a digital file, 
any time of the day or night, bing bang buoy, within less than five minutes, I'm printing the thing out and I'm, I'm ripping it up or cutting it or doing whatever, and I'm using it in my journal. So as far as um, ease of use goes, I also, I, I mean, there's an ick factor to saying, oh, I want something immediate, that whole like immediate gratification thing, like, oh, you know, nobody waits for anything anymore. But it really, it's, it's, it's just really convenient to be like, oh, I'm doing a project and I really wish that I had some pink polka dotted paper with butterflies on it. And then the next thing you know, you can go to the computer and find exactly what you're looking for, for the most part, on Etsy. And then there it is. You're not waiting for it to be delivered. You are not waiting to see if you have to pay extra customs fees. Because, again, depending on where you live, that can be a bit of an issue. Um, as we've, you know, I know a lot of people... When even when we had COVID, we couldn't go out shopping. I mean, having digital files was such a blessing, not only because I could support other artists and YouTubers during difficult times, but um, I could, I could, I had access to paper supplies that I wouldn't have had because Michaels was closed or Walmart was closed or whatever, right? So that's something else to consider as well. Um, it's just there. It's just there, always waiting <laughs> for you to part with some of your money and enjoy. And I will say, some digital files can be expensive, but seriously, most of them are extremely, extremely affordable and you get very high quality. I mean, that's the other thing is that out of all the digital files that I've purchased, and I have purchased a lot, my friends. I have yet to come across a file that was not good quality as far as color goes. Um, so don't, you know, 99.9% .9 of what out is what out <laughs> rented lips. Most of what's out there is really good quality. So be confident in that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think, I think finally I have covered all of that stuff. So Hooey! Let's go look at some digital files online and let's buy a couple things that I don't need but I'm gonna want anyways. And um yeah, we'll see uh we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. So stay tuned. Okay, so I thought it would be fun by starting out with a simple search for just digital paper. Now the other thing that I wanted to mention was Use it when you're searching on Etsy. Oops, it helps if I put this here. You can interchange the words digital or printable. So let's just quickly, I wasn't planning on doing this, but just to show you. So if we do a search for digital, <laughs> make sure I can spell it, digital paper, just digital paper. So we're going to get a lot of stuff. So as you can see, where did it go here? Yeah. 2,876,000 plus paper. So digital paper, as a rule, will have a lot of um, variations. Like it's, it's going to be all kinds of paper. So here you can even see we got some GP uh, chat stuff here. You'll notice... Like, it's, it's just really broad and all over the place. Is this... Let me just see if I can... I think that's got it. Okay. So, that was over 2 million. Just for fun, let's see if we do printable. Oh, it's a little bit less, by n but not by much. So, it's 2,596,000. So it doesn't really matter which term you use, but just be aware that you can use digital or printable. Um, the Etsy search leaves a little bit to be desired these days. So yeah, that's a, another video, let me tell you. Okay, so then let's just look, let's go back and do digital, digital paper so you can you know see what they are. Um, suggest here for you 
digital paper flowers. We can look at flowers because it's springtime. So you can see that we've got a ton. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's open this one. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Printable watercolor. Whoop, I'm going to save that. Okay, so this is a really good example of just... Ah, it's so pretty. So I have saved this, which obviously is a really great thing to do. If you're going to be perusing around, and you're not really sure what you want, I highly recommend that you you heart things and save them so that um, you're not searching for them because that can be a real pain in the butt. Um, so here you'll see she has... Well, what have we got here? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So you're getting ten different files. Oh, these are beautiful. So they're 12 by 12 papers. Um, used for journal, scrapbooking, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I think I'm going to get this. I think this is going to be one of the ones that I get today because these are beautiful. Um, you'll notice here that it says com uh, commercial use allowed. Again, that's a different topic for a different day. What I'm going to be showing and talking about um, for this video is for personal use only. If you're thinking about buying digital art to create other art that you are going to in turn sell, you need to go down and look in the description where it says learn more about this product. It will tell you, every single seller will tell you what they will allow you to do with their art and what they don't want you to do with their art and by agree when you buy a, a file you agree to those terms of service I mean the big thing is that all digital artists will ask you to please 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 not share the files that when you buy the files they're there for your use and your use only you can print them off as many times as you want that's the other thing you buy some paper and and you really love it you could print that piece of paper off a thousand times it's not a one and done it's it, the file's yours forever. You do with it and use it how, as many times as you please. But obviously they, they ask you that you don't share them with your friends for free. So, um, this, wow, I'm really, this is gorgeous. Now you will note when we talked about the difference between what kinds of files that you want to look for. So you want to look for a JPEG, a zip file, or a PDF file. So it will always tell you here in the highlights. So here it says, digital file. She will be sending you four zip files and one JPEG file. So if you decide you don't want to work with a zip file, then this would be something I would bookmark and save it for later until you're feeling comfortable opening up zip files. Um, they just talk about the fact that it's an instant download. You will receive 10 individual pages and 5 zip files. Pages are high resolution, 300 dpi, which means dots per inch, for beautiful quality. So when you're purchasing, if you are concerned about whether or not this, the artist is giving you high quality files, 300 dpi is amazing and you can't go wrong. So that's just something um, to keep in mind. Here she talks about... Uh, it's a digital file. Uh, no, no product will be sent to you. Um, terms. Pages can be used in physical products for sale. For use with digital products, they must be a part of the overall project and not sold as is, which is pretty standard for people that will allow you to use them in other projects. They just basically are saying, please don't take my artwork, download it, and then open up an Etsy store and, and sell it as your own, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that to cart because <laughs> it's gorgeous. And then you can see here, once you hit, um, you can either continue on or they'll show you related items, which is very dangerous. These are all beautiful. Um, I'm actually going to go in. I don't know if I have uh, the Artful Press. Have I, have I saved? No. No. So I'm going to give her a, a save for her store because her work is just stunning. Wow. So look, see, we've got tags. She's got some abstract stuff here. She's got writing paper. Wow. There's just so much. Okay, so now 
in the interest of sort of keeping things, let's go here. I'm going to show you my shop quickly. I'm sorry, this is on a bit of an angle, and I don't want it. I don't want you to feel like you're craning your neck. Let me just see if I can. Nope. Okay. Is that okay? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so here, these are in my shop where I have all of my digital writing paper. Okay, that's better. So these are all files that I've created. Oh, and you will notice that um, here, let's click on this one. So I have specifically said in my thumbnail, no zip files, easy to use. And when you look over here, it'll say digital file type for JPEGs. So if you click on here, um, this, is the, this is what the file will look like when you click on the, on the button to download it, right? So I'm pretty sure, so I have cards and tags. So here are the tags that we made the other day in the video um, for the master board. Again, I have it on here, no zip files, easy to use. And then it says set of six tags. And then here again, so you're getting one file, and it'll have the six tags on it for you to cut. And that again, that's pretty standard. So you can, I have journal um, tags here. One of the other interesting things that you will find in digitals um, here on Etsy is a lot of people do some pretty creative things with scanning in physical items and then offering them as digitals that you can print off and use. So I've gone in and scanned in a bunch of vintage hankies. I have a, a fairly extensive collection <laughs> of hankies that I just can't bear to cut up. But what I did was I scanned them in and I uh, made them, I fixed the color on them a little bit. And then, so for my file, for $5 Canadian, you're going to get three JPEG files, and there's two hankies on each file that you would print out, right? So this is what the file sheets would look like. So that's always a really interesting thing, too. If you see people that have scanned in, oh my goodness, all kinds of old notions. Let's go up here and just see. I wasn't thinking about this earlier, but digital scanned sewing notions. Let's see what we get. Yeah, see, some people do buttons, which I think is a really fascinating idea. So this is, this is interesting too. So for, again, the very affordable price of $3.20 Canadian, she has 18 sewing notion trading cards. She gives you the dimensions, and then there's a bonus file. So these are really, especially if you love vintage stuff, this is super fun. I really like these a lot. And these would be really fun to print off um, and share with pen pals who are also into vintage stuff. So then she's on including also all this sort of textured paper. So you could cut these up. So you got one, two, three, four, so there's eight. And then you could glue them onto the back of these cards and then make them into journal cards or cards for your, your friends, pen pals. Ooh. <laughs> See? I'm tempted. I'm like... And here you'll notice she has three PDF files. So we're going to talk about those kinds of things in the next video. Um, this video will just continue on with looking and seeing what is out there. But that's a really clever idea as well. And then if you scroll down, it should show you some, some things that are maybe a little bit similar. So this would be from this shop. And then here we're, we're sh they're showing you under $25. And more of what you might like. Now this is interesting. Um, this is essentially, she has created a master board. And she's done the collage and she's offering it for $4.25 Canadian. So you would just get this one file. That's it. 
there, there isn't anything else here. Um, and she's telling you here again, it's a PDF file. It's not a JPEG, not like uh, the ones that I was showing you from my shop. So a PDF file means you have to open up files within a file. Not hard, but just be aware. Okay, so we can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So the other great thing that I think that you can buy are blank or labels. I am addicted to labels. But if you, for some reason, don't have tags or you want different kinds of tags that you want to use with your, say, your rubber stamps or your stencils, like you want to get really creative, this is a goal mine of blanks. So here we have, let's click on this one. So she's got all of these vintage labels. This comes in two zip files. So here she's telling you there's 17 different label designs, five different colors of each design. Labels range in size from one and a half inch to three inch. She's got two sheets of black, two sheets of blue, two of brown, two green, two red. So in my opinion, that is just an enormous amount of labels for the mere price of $2.84, right? You could buy, you can buy, like, a lot of people have what I think is a lot of fun, too, journal words. Okay, so here again, you've got four PDF files and one zip file. But what she's offering you here are sheets that you just simply cut out. So again, if, you're, if you don't want to do these things on the computer or you can't, you're not comfortable, there's a ton of stuff on here that you can buy that's very affordable that you can just print out and start gluing into your own projects. Um, here we have, this, is the, this looks great, labels and frames, 67 vintage labels and frames for 283. These are fun. Industrial grunge. Look at that. <laughs> I'm telling you. I hope you got a beverage because, yeah, you could be here all day looking at files. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So then let's look at um, digital paper summer. So you could go through and choose digital paper packs that you might fancy for doing work um, in a summer journal. So something that really has bright colors or themes. Here we have uh, summer fun, beach time. We've got Van Gogh flowers. I mean, it, it, pick something. It's, it's anything. It's Halloween. It's Christmas. It's never ending. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. You can do, you can search by summer of uh, paper, watercolor. So whether, again, we got fruits, we got flowers, we have boho designs. I mean, look at these cute little watercolor chicks. Some of these packs, depending on what, what you're doing and why, I mean, look at this. This is watercolor, 100 colors. For $4.08 Canadian, she's going to send you 100 files. Obviously, you know, you'll have to extract that. But um, here's some more really pretty flower stuff. So again, your packs range 14. We've got 100 um, this is 12, I believe. Here we have paper, violet. I mean, it is, look at that. That's beautiful if you like watercolor flowers. Um, digital paper, cats. Here's some fussy cuts that you can buy, like I talked about. Um, so here, this is one zip file. So she's got nine pages of ephemera in various sizes as shown in the pictures. So if you just, so each, you're going to get nine sheets of fussy cut cats. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, let's, uh, what's this here? We looked at that. 
Um, I'm going to come back to Artie Mays in a minute. I just wanted to do, let's look at uh, digital envelopes. So here you could print out these really pretty envelopes. This is a zip file. We'll do a search next for JPEGs because they, it can be a little bit um, harder to find. She's not showing them what they look like. That's kind of a bummer, what the file would look like. Well, let's go back here. Digital envelopes. We've got these. This I love. I love these. And I'm go I've favored them. I'm going to add this to cart because I think these are brilliant. Now here, see, we'll get these because digital file types for JPEG. Okay, let's get those. So we'll add that to the cart as well. So you can buy all kinds of different envelopes. You would have to cut out the scallop edges around these on your own. You could buy the paper and then just make your own envelope. Obviously, you don't need a special file. Um, Memories envelope kit. This is kind of fun. Again, we've she's got it on sale, but even at $4.26, we've got files so you can just cut around there. And we got some extra doodads here for you to cut out to create a collage. She's got some added some tags and some paper. And she's just showing you here. Again, here's a zip file. So I mean, we've got envelopes. Let's see, what else have we got? We looked at tags, we looked at writing paper, um, journal tags, kits. Let's look at digital journal kits. So this one, My Porch Prints here, let's look at hers. She's, she is, sells a ton of stuff. So, $4.25, and you're going to get um, printouts to make your own little pockets, tags, tickets. We've got mason jars here. We've got a ton of journaling tags. She's included different shapes of tags. Here are the tickets. Um, sort of little, um, what look like postage stamps. Here's more tags. It's just... I can't, I can't state enough how much I think this is fun. Cherry clip art, cherry pie. I'm not going to open that up because it's going to make me hungry. But <laughs> if you're into cherries, go for it. Bird junk journal printable kit. Pixie dust files. Let's see what she's got here. So she's got all kinds of different ephemera for you to, cl to, to cut out. Here we've got tags, quotes, envelopes for you to put together, corner pockets, more tags. Ooh, look at those numbers. Yeah. I mean, some people don't want to print out their own you know they want to do everything from scratch but if you're somebody that would like to save some time and and yeah it's all here it's it's all here so you can buy some some kits offer papers here's some digital sticky notes which are always fun and Right, like here again, we've got shabby chic, but this is a printout to create a folder, a pocket folder. So she's going to give you all the bits and bobs here to create these pockets and to make it look like you've got all this hardware and this stitching on here. It's amazing to me what some of these gals can put into a, a kit. Truly. So, um, I again, I don't want to overwhelm you, and I don't want to go on and on and on forever because we could sit here together and look at files. I really enjoyed this kind of thing. 
I just want to say that that some some of these sellers they'll offer you essentially two pages on one that you would print off on one sheet of copy paper. I love this kind of thing because I like the fact that I can fold it into sort of like a card and then journal on the inside on both sides and then fold it and stick it in a pocket in my journal and it just looks like a, a beautiful uh, printed booklet. I don't know how else to say it. I, this is just something that personally really appeals to me. I have a ton of these. I don't even want to tell you how many of these kinds of pages that I've purchased. The other thing too is then you can you could rip it or cut it in half and then just use these as giant journal cards. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I, I, I really if if you guys <laughs> wanna do search doing go searching oh let's do this real quick. I love this one too. Artie Mays. Oh I was gonna show you okay. <laughs> Uh, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, now look at look at these tags. I love red tags. How cool is that? And then yeah, she's giving you these pages. It's trouble. It's just trouble, but I love every minute of it. Okay, so before I forget, let's just very quickly, we looked at that. Again, you want to make sure that you know when you're purchasing that you, how many files you're getting. And you can tell by here that there's only one one sheet included in that. Whereas when you look at, um, let's just say something like this, this person is showing you exactly what you're getting, and it'll it'll. Oh, I like that for Halloween. Save that. Um, okay, is this nope? That's sewing notions. That's the scanned stuff. Um, okay, let's go to Artie Mays. I just wanted to quickly show you the journal kit that I purchased that I did the, the rubber stamping on the blank stamps. I wanted to show you the entire kit. Um, again, for the low, low price of $3.58 Canadian, she includes already printed tickets she includes all of these vintage tickets, these vintage tickets, these numbers, two pieces of paper with these numbers on them, which I absolutely love. Here you've got some tickets that she's put the numbers in. Here you can do your own blanks. And then these are the bonus files. These are the blanks that I used in the video that I showed you guys and yeah so just so you could see it wasn't just these tags that she's included all these other things um, as well so now I wanted to open up this this will be the last thing that we look at um, beautiful birds travel notebook size um, this is maybe one of the more quote-unquote expensive ones that we looked at today that's over seven dollars but still I think is more than reasonable for the amount of time and energy so you'd get these gorgeous files here um, these would look like they may be about like index card size and then she's included all these little bits of ephemera and these circles to punch out so you could do some collage We've got tags. She's got some mini little envelopes that you can glue together. These are corner pockets here. Um, this would be like a coin envelope. Here's some more smaller envelopes and then some ephemera tags. I mean, I really, I just, I think this is such a great deal. Here we've got tabs that you can make, tickets. And if you... If you've bought, a lot of the times digital sellers will will give you a little code. So it will, it'll say apply thank you code if she's given it to you and offered it to you already. And then it'll just apply that uh, when you go to check out. So the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to go here. We're going to check out. Um, and then I will make the next video where we go through the process of me downloading these files on my desktop, how I save them to my files, and how I open them up to print them. 
So this isn't too bad. <laughs> I could have done a lot more damage than this. So I'm getting the sail here. And so we've got these two. And again, it'll tell you here, four JPEG included. And here I'm getting four zip files and one JPEG. So double check here that you see what kind of instant download that you're getting so that you feel comfortable with the kind of files that you're going to be receiving. So we're going to proceed to checkout here. Okay, so then here we are. Here's the discounts that with the sale price, obviously some tax. So these two files are costing me $6.30. You're going to submit your order. And here you'll see it. We've sent you a receipt with order details to Island Alice at Gmail. That's my obviously my email. Your order is confirmed, contains two items from multiple shops. Here is view the order details. Here is view downloads. When you click on this, she gives you a little bit of information. Here you'll see that there's one, two, three, four zip files for us to download one JPEG and here for those green numerical pockets we've got one two three four JPEGs and then she talks here about don't use the Etsy app on a mobile device for digital downloads it doesn't work which is what we've covered and I will also link a video below so you can watch um, Jackie from um, her channel. Anyways, I'm going to go. That's almost half an hour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate. Um, leave them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And yeah, I hope this will inspire you to go and look around and see what's available. Um, Whatever your style, whatever your taste, whatever your color palette, I guarantee you there's something here on Etsy in digital form for you. So that's it. I'm not going to babble on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support, your wonderful comments. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm having so much fun with you guys. I can't even tell you. Um, yeah, it... Starting a YouTube channel has been the highlight of 2023 for me so far. So thank you for making it a really, truly wonderful, magical experience for me. Have a great week. Speak kindly to yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye, everybody. See you later.